Hi guys, this is a recording of a retopology of a character I'm working on. Uh, I recorded only the shirt and the whole video was about an hour, but I cut it down to uh, 15 minutes or so. Um, so I added a, a plane and I'm applying a specific material to the plane. There's nothing special about it, it's just green material, so it stands out. And I'm just snapping it uh, with face snapping to the hypolimish. And then I will add a, a mirror modifier with clipping. And even though the mesh, the hypo is not uh, symmetrical, really, um, I, I start off mirroring the low poly and then I can go in later. Uh, and then I'm going to add a uh, displacement modifier so that I can push the retopologized low poly in and out depending on uh, what what part of the mesh I'm working on or you know just 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 for uh, visual reference to make uh, the work a bit easier and I'm just gonna move the the verts in place where they make sense uh, I'm using a uh, an add-on uh, a pie menu add-on called uh, RNB uh, pie menu from um, PT Wazoo uh, I mentioned that in a previous previous uh, video as well, and I'm also using the uh, uh, the F F2 add-on, which allows me to just select a vert at the corner of a polygon, and then just press F, and then it'll create a polygon. You'll see me using that quite a bunch. So the video is sped up uh, a little bit now, um, but I'm just extruding edges and keeping the face snap on and just um, adding edges as well uh, just extruding adding edges and then moving stuff around and so I want to have a, a loop of polygons going around the shoulder as a starting point so here you see I have that loop um, and normally I would put the arms a bit up uh, so I can really get a clean topology around the the armpit so this is not ideal you would probably want the armpit as uh, so the arm to be positioned a little bit higher uh, but it's okay so I'm I'm not too concerned about uh, getting everything as quads uh, it's okay if there's some triangles I just try to get clean topology loops around the areas that will deform and then it's important that here you see me using the F2 add-on where I just select a vert and then press F and it creates the polygon uh, really recommend it so it's important that you have uh, enough loops around the areas that will require a lot of deformation specifically the shoulder So I'm just trying to get everything nice and smooth. It's good to start at a relatively low poly count and then just add more loops as you go. Uh, poly count is not that that big of a deal anymore in in games. It's okay to add uh, a good amount of polygons. Uh, but it's still it's still good practice to start low and then to add as you go because it's that's a lot easier. You saw me using a, uh, a snap uh, or a merge vert um, tool there, where I just select one vert C and then drag it to another vert C to to merge instead of pressing Alt M. Uh, but it's the same functionality, and that's part of the uh, Pt Wazoo. Um, right mouse menu and the RMB pie menu uh, add-on so now I'm gonna try and map out the color a little bit and you see the displacement add-on uh, when you are going or the displacement modifier when you are doing these kind of going over this area that's kind of has um, it's not very thick uh, or stuff that bends it kind of it can sometimes mess up a little bit the uh, the geometry 
um, because it's trying to resolve around that that uh, that angle and it's not going that well so I at this point I'll just I just push it in a little bit and then later on I probably disabled the displacement modifier completely so what I want to do with the color is I want to have a low poly that gives the, uh, the general look of the color but doesn't necessarily have all the geometry that you know folds over and underneath so I'll try to uh, to retopologize so that the part where you see the gap most you will actually have the gap and then the part where it's just folded over completely and there's no gap it, I'll just keep the, the, the low poly solid I'm just trying to resolve this there's no real specific polygon flow that that I want I'm just trying to figure it out as I go and um, it's kind of a balance of making sure you have a uh, smooth uh, poly count around the uh, Round, round edges so that stuff looks smooth but at the same time also following your actual mesh detail and then at the same time making sure that you have the loops necessary for good deformation um, and then on top of that I have these kind of folds that don't necessarily follow a, um, a good loop deformation topology uh, so then you have to kind of guess, okay, the normal map will, will be able to cover that. Uh, maybe at some point later on I might model in those folds, that uh, that fold geometry a little bit more into the, the low poly, but I'll keep that until the end. I'll probably do a, a normal map bake and then see if it actually works well, and if it doesn't, I will, I'll model in some of those folds. But it's just at this point it's just about getting the, the general volume correct and I rather have everything deform properly and maybe have some of the the folds not read as strongly as they are in the high poly than to have a good looking static mesh but the moment it deforms it looks bad. So I want to make sure that I have that, that deformation working well. And like I said, it's it's better to have more loops around the the shoulder than you think will be necessary than to have too little, because the shoulder it goes all over the place when it's animated. Um, so at this point, I would I should probably add like another loop or two there, uh, and I probably will in in the end. So this looks pretty smooth now. I'm just trying to figure out how to resolve that area in a way that is efficient and like I said it's okay to have triangles specifically in areas where th there's not that much deformation so I think that's looking pretty smooth and pretty clean so far alright so at this point I wanna have those uh, shoulder straps uh, retopologized and embedded into the the shirt topology as well um, and the big strap that goes diagonally I'll have it as a separate object but the ones that go over the shoulders I want to have it embedded so I'm gonna first work separately I'm just gonna um, duplicate a polygon from the, the low poly shirt separate it and then I'm just gonna start snapping that to the strap like that. I'm just going to give it a temporary different uh, material color so I, I'm, I, it's visually not confusing but this is just temporary. So then I'm just going to roughly uh, map it to the the strap high poly by extruding and rotating. I think extruding edges is the probably the number one tool I use uh, for retopology. And as you can see, I'm trying to match the topology of the underlying 
shirt mesh so i make sure that i divide the the the, the loops where it kind of matches the loops underneath because we're going to want to merge those two and then connect them so this is an area that's a bit tricky because the ring that's like the buckle that's connecting those two ends it's kind of floating on top of the shirt so I'm at this point I'm kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to exactly do that but I put it aside for now and I'm just continuing to map out the areas that I know how I'm going to do uh, so again here it's it's kind of tricky because you're trying to um, balance between the detail that you will have that you will need to match your your low poly to the high poly to get clean texture bakes but you have to balance that as well with uh, the um, clean topology that will deform well uh, so that's kind of the trick there So now I'm just extruding every the edges down so that it it's a solid piece. And here I'm using the F2 add-on just by pressing F. And that's an add-on that comes with uh, Blender, but you just have to enable it in the add-on list. It's very powerful. It's very powerful, but it just does one simple thing, so it's not complicated. And I want to have that little piece of the strap that hangs out modeled in um, but I do that in a way that's kind of solid so I don't have any unnecessary um, poly count um, if I would want in the low poly game mesh to have this little strap flapping around or or be dynamic then I would have it as a, a separate piece of geometry for sure but in this case I know it's it's not gonna move around like that Sorry about the back now, background noise. There we go. So I, I have it roughly mapped out now, and I think at this point I want to. I'm gonna enable the mirror and then merge it with the uh, with the the shirt. I don't know what's going on outside. I think it's construction work. Um, okay, so then. I want to kind of, I haven't merged it yet, but I want to kind of now align the shirt topology a little bit more to match that strap because I'm going to be merging those two and I want to, just to make my, my, my life easier later on when I merge them. So I'm kind of deleting the polygons that are underneath the, the strap and then adding edges alongside it and I, I'm also snapping back and forth between showing the the back facing edges and hiding the back facing edges um, I just very quickly snap between those two using the Pi menu add-on I also have I'm also using the the Pi menu editor add-on uh, where I have some some uh, some functions like uh, subdivide that I can quickly snap to the left with that add-on and I can quickly subdivide an edge or switch between isolate and orthographic that's just an add-on where you can map you can basically make your own pie menu using blender internal add-ons or, or functions so I recommend that one as well uh, so there we go like I have everything it's kind of connected now except the area where the, the strap connects to itself so I'm adding now a uh, I've added an edge split modifier and then I marked the edges sharp that I want to have sharp so you can see this already now the red or magenta or I think it looks kind of purple um, edges those are marked sharp and then in the add-on uh, sorry, in the modifier, I have um, I turn off angle and I make sure I have mark sharp enabled. And then basically what it does is it cuts or it splits those edges with the modifier. And that's I have to do that w for when I'm going to be baking the normal normal map, so that I don't have bad looking normals. You can see at the color, uh, the flap 
you see that, that it has like a, a normal that doesn't work very well so I'm gonna later on have to split those edges as well and then you have to do that in the UVs as well um, and so now I'm just I decided to add an actual floating um, piece of geometry for the buckle because the buckle doesn't really touch the shirt so I decided it'll be better to just have it floating and I'll have it bake, baked separately and then the ends that the, the buckle connects to I'll just uh, solidify that. At this point though I'm still considering connecting the, the buckle to the to the actual strap but I'll, I'll drop that because it doesn't yeah as you can see it's just floating so it won't look good if I merge it with the shirt. Um, so I'm kind of contemplating what I'm gonna do when I decide it. I'll just keep it as a separate piece. And because it's such a simple piece of geometry, it, it'll also be easy to to handle when skinning the mesh and, and modifying it, or uh, sorry, um, deforming it. So now I just wanna have everything resolved here. So I'm just uh, removing some of the polys and then connecting them with the remaining gaps that I have in the uh, in the buckle and you see here I'm, I'm using that that little shortcut add-on um, to merge verts and like I said that comes with the PT Wazoo RMB Pi menu the only thing I, I did with it is I assigned the hotkey to it which by default you have to access the the Pi menu to do that and like I said this video in parts is is split up um, 150 percent and in parts it's it's at the, the default speed and then in, at some parts I have it split up 200 percent um, and then I cut as you see a bunch of parts as well but this should give you the general idea of all the tools I use and and how I retopologize so I'm just cleaning up this piece and then I'm gonna be adding uh, gonna make make some of the edges sharp as well so that you know just to resolve the normals and you see immediately um, it will resolve the normals although I, I still have to add the the modifier so at the edge split modifier where is it there it is and then you see immediately the normals look a lot better just need to there you go so it looks kind of sharp but when you when I'm gonna bake the normals uh, the normal map it's gonna look smooth and like the high poly so that's uh, the basic retopology of uh, of my mesh for the shirt.